Hi, I'm Mike with CAD Dimensions, and today we're going to go over a guide for getting material stuck in your head extracted. Typically, you'll see this issue with a malfunctioning head that won't release your material, or if you have older material that is broken during an unload. This process is going to be valid for all F123 series printers, including the CR version. Nothing that we show in this will void any warranties, so if you pay close attention and follow all along, there shouldn't be any issues. So, we're going to start with opening the upper lid and you'll notice that your upper lid won't release until you've opened your oven door so that the safety latch disengages. So first oven door, then lid. Next, we'll position the heads in the front service bracket. That's what this little cutout is referred to. And we'll operate as if our support material is stuck in the support head to keep it simple. So support is always on the right side, model always on the left for the F series. You'll notice that I'm using two different heads. That's the newer designed version and the older designed version. They can run together, it doesn't really matter, but you will, when ordering heads, soon see that these don't exist anymore. So you'll see more of these. Coming here to the screen, we'll navigate into our materials menu. And instead of going to the bay to unload, because assuming that you've done that already and it didn't release, we'll go to the support head. In here, you'll see your basic support head information, including the odometer, which is very helpful for warranty purposes. And from here, we'll go into maintenance. You'll notice that this maintenance window, if you've been in it before, looks a little different now because you have the lid open, so the safeties are engaged. All we have to do is hit enable to disengage those safeties. The only note being that once you're in this mode with lid open and safeties disengaged, you do not want to unplug the ribbon cable on either head. It has a chance to short the head, ruining it. But not always. So just be careful of that. So from here, we'll come to the support head and we'll lift the knob and come up with the support tube. And from here on the screen, you can either run a full purge test or you can run heat head. Either way, you want to get the tip heated up and then get the material moving one way or the other. So for this instance, we'll start with a purge. So you'll notice that the heat is going to climb from 90 degrees, which is the internal temperature, to the target temp of 265 Celsius. And then you will see the material start to pull down and purge. And that is a good, even, slow, steady purge. And a lot of the times with a stuck material like this, you can get that good even purge without letting the material release because the gears might be working in one direction but not in the other. If you have broken material instead of stuck material and you don't have enough material to go through a full purge, run the heat hot option instead. So you'll let the purge run its course and it should only take about 30 seconds to a minute. And when it's done, it'll say purge completed, is the head loaded on the screen, and you'll select yes. If you select no, you'll have to run a load in order to trick the head into thinking that it's still loaded to try and release it again. So here's the screen I'm talking about. Purge complete, is the head loaded? Yes. So from here, you'll see that you're up at the target temp of about 265, so we're coming down to 220 to help evacuate some of that heat from the tip faster, you can open the door and get the purged material out of here. We'll go over testing for moisture and material in another video. So from there you'll just let the heat descend. You'll want it to get to below 120 degrees Celsius in order for the unload head portion to work. If you start before it is at the 120 degrees, like so, you won't ruin anything, but it'll ask you to wait while it rectifies the temperature. When hitting unload, if you have four bays, it'll ask you which of the two for support or which of the two for model are loaded during the unload step. I will select bay three, which is what we have installed. And we'll hit accept. So now you'll see that it wants to climb to 120 degrees Celsius, but in the sense that it's over it, it's gonna lower the heat to target temp and then start the unload process. So you'll want to make sure your tube is out of the way so that when the gears start, it extrudes outwards into a free area without hitting the tube and stopping itself. Again, in the sense that you have broken material, 
say it broke off here and you don't have enough to grab or it broke lower, you shouldn't have to give it any kind of tug. It should be able to evacuate itself. Though if you need to, a small pair of needle nose pliers can loosely grip and pull the material once it starts the extraction. So here's what your material will be looking like as it extracts backwards. And as soon as it's free and able to pull out like this, you should be good. Now this end, having been in the tip and clogged, will come out looking in various different ways, some kind of messed up. So you might get a good re retraction like this where it's even all the way through with the heavy gear marks, or you might get something that is fine up to about an inch and then it gets really wavy and thin. That's fine. It doesn't really matter how it looked if you get it out. What matters is how you clip it next. So. From here, you'll want to remove your spool. That's fine if it throws itself back in there. So you'll open your bays, open the bay that was giving you an issue, and you will roll your material back out of the tube and down into the bay. So you'll want to remove the spool to make sure that it gets free, and you'll want to clip the end that was in the head. So you'll see again these very heavy gear marks here that you want to get off of the next extrusion path. Clipping as close to a 45 degree as possible is best for reinsertion. And we'll place the spool back in and let the preload take the material. Next, you want to make sure that your material tube is back in the tip so that when you hit load, it actually loads the material. Then you can close this. Now, if you're still worried about the safeties at this point, if you were here in the head with maintenance on, and we'll open this so that it says enabled, here, you have two options. You either hit disable, or you navigate to any other menu on the printer, and it will re-engage those safeties while the lid is open. So, Never fear if you forgot to hit disabled. As soon as you have left the enabled screen, it, shuts, it turns the safeties on, or if you shut the lid, it turns the safeties back on. So we'll close our bays. We'll go back to the main menu. And here we can see the little blue notch that indicates that we are preloaded. So we are ready to go into our support bay and hit load. Now, you can see that it's gonna climb to its target temperature of 170 degrees Celsius. And as soon as this bracket turns with a white border, we'll know that the material has reached the head sensor. Now you can hear the gears kicking on for the head as the gears for the bay shut off and the head takes over on pulling the material for better control over extrusion. We are at the head and you'll see this blue line indicate that it is still feeding up for the load. It's going to climb now to its target extrusion temperature of 265 degrees Celsius to purge. You'll be able to see that purge at the back. If you look carefully, it'll be just above the shroud. Once you see a solid blue border for your head, you know that you're loaded. And we saw the purge while it was purging, so we can confirm. If there are any doubts, you can repeat the process that you had for the original purge by opening your lid and bringing your heads forward, going into your head, then maintenance, enable, and purging again. If in any event these steps do not clear the material from the head, which can happen, or if after clearing the material from head you find that the material will not load properly or purge properly, Feel free to contact any one of us at support at CAD Dimensions at any time. Thank you.